Hi, I'm Kobe Hanok from Webit, and Webit, together with uh, its partner Letty, is developing a RERAM technology. So today I'll be talking about the future of uh, memory the way we see it. The first thing we should note is the huge change in the world and uh, the transformation regarding uh, semiconductors. Who of us had a smartphone in, a, in his pocket just 15 years ago? And you look 15 years back at the top 10 market cap companies in the world, and they were energy, uh, finance, uh, and other kinds. Uh, only one company could have been tied to semiconductors, that's Microsoft, and uh, I'd question if at that time they had any real uh, semiconductor focus. Uh, you know, even just 10 years ago, the only uh, company that was really focused in, on semiconductors from the top 10 was Apple. And look at the world today, nine out of the top 10 uh, companies are focused on semiconductors. That's really amazing. Everywhere you look, any device, any gadget, uh, all around us, uh, on us, etc., has semiconductors in it. And if we look at uh, what's been happening in this domain, it just triggered an unbelievable amount of innovation. There's innovation happening all over the place in uh, semiconductors. I think a key transformation has been from the traditional big uh, general purpose uh, processor that was working with an independent memory uh, to what we are seeing today, more and more application-specific accelerators uh, focused on specific functionalities. Uh, we're seeing uh, memories that are tied to the logic, uh, a move away from the traditional von Neumann architecture. So today we hear a lot about in-memory compute, uh, processing in memory, etc. You know, obviously process has been uh, constantly innovating and we're continuing to scale to smaller geometries. We hear about five, three, and even one nanometer uh, geometries now. And of course, the whole uh, process techniques, materials, and everything has been evolving. A key domain has been the environmental considerations. Uh, today, we are much more conscious about the environment. The manufacturing takes into account power, water waste, um, uh, material scarcity, etc. And uh, the devices that we manufacture today, uh, more and more of these devices are running on batteries and need to be very um, energy efficient. And even those that are plugged into the wall, we still want them to be as low power as possible. So there's really a lot of in innovation happening all over semiconductors. Of course, a lot of it is happening on the logic side. We have uh, a tighter integration of uh, the system, uh, especially you know, the, the coupling of uh, semiconductor with uh, the software, so hardware and software integration uh, and we already talked about low power but specifically on the memory side there really is a very intensive uh, innovation both in the ter in terms of reliability we're talking about endurance retention lower error rates etc uh, performance is critical and ai and other applications are really pushing this forward uh, of course, we want to have more and more memory, uh, denser memory, and now we're seeing already three-dimensional memories uh, in all kinds of ways of, of stacking uh, multi-level cells. Uh, we're talking about more and more levels, so it's really amazing. There's a lot of innovation in the modules that um, uh, control the memory arrays and uh, really um, significant uh, ways of, of improving performance, of improving reliability, etc., by using the logic. And of course, we're seeing all of these uh, new memory technologies uh, that are coming out that are enabling a lot of this. So, um, you know, for many years, we didn't see so many new technologies coming out. 
the the requirements of memory are growing i think all of you know uh just look at uh, instagram TikTok, or whichever uh, social media the the amount of uh, video clips and pictures etc is growing exponentially uh, and we really need to keep up with that. Uh, the memory industry needs to uh, move forward with uh, much denser memories uh, and much faster memories and, and really address all of these, uh, uh, these needs. So when we look, and I'll focus now on the non-volatile memory technology where I think uh, most of the innovation is happening, uh, the requirements and, and the focus of the companies right now are really on, on quite a few domains. You know, the scalability, uh, flash was basically stuck at uh, 40, 28 nanometers. We need to go down to the much smaller geometries, be able to embed non-volatile memories in, you know, going down to five, three and one nanometer, as I said, uh, that's a critical uh, requirement. Uh, we need to have lower power consumption, and uh, I don't think I need to elaborate on that. Switching speed is, is critical. AI requires very, very fast uh, access to uh, memory, and not only AI, you know, if you look at automotive, all the autonomous vehicles, you don't want uh, decision making to take too long. Uh, cost has always been uh, a factor, it always will be. Uh, and also the different conditions. Today, computers and, and semiconductors are not just in the computer room. Uh, they're all over the place, uh, including in space, including in, in very extreme places on the planet. They need to withstand uh, very harsh conditions of uh, radiation, electromagnetic fields, uh, you know, in, in hospitals and places, temperatures, and so on. And last but not least, I already talked about the environment. Uh, we're very conscious about that, and we really want to make sure that the, the manufacturing and, and the use of memories uh, takes the environment into account. So uh, I mentioned Webit is focused on RERAM. RERAM is one of the new emerging memory technologies, and it has a lot of advantages. Uh, the, the different RERAM uh, uh, companies um, or the basic RERAM technology is a back end of line technology. So it can e integrate easily with any front end of line. It doesn't have all of the implications that you have, for example, with Flash, uh, uh, which uh, has impact on the design that's sitting next to it. Uh, RERAM can be scaled to much smaller geometries. Uh, and it's much lower power. Uh, a RERAM array requires uh, significantly less power uh, than uh, a flash array, for example. Uh, performance is much higher. Uh, access speeds are, uh, you know, orders of magnitude faster. And the endurance is significantly better. We're talking about something like 100x uh, better uh, endurance. So overall, RERAM technology is a much better technology, much more advanced technology than what we have uh, today. Uh, Webit actually adds additional uh, benefits over the regular RERAM. Uh, we are very focused on using fab-friendly materials. Uh, I believe it's critical, uh, especially if you want to, um, to reach mass production to have something that you can go into the fab and with uh, minimal impact integrated into the process flow. Um, we uh, have a, a lower cost solution. Uh, manufacturing the, the RERAM is uh, basically two, uh, two masks, very few steps. It's very simple, very easy with the materials that we're using. Um, it's uh, High uh, density, we're working with Leti also on a, an OTS uh, selector and integrating it so that we can uh, achieve also a discrete uh, memory component um, with a very small size. 
Uh, we're focused on reliability and high temperatures. Automotive and other applications require, uh, you know, 150 degrees and even more. And uh, of course, always uh, focusing on the greener choice. And I think that uh, the materials we're using, the process we're using, is uh, is very uh, environmental uh, friendly. So. Overall, we're putting here a lot of innovation and, and actually a lot of innovation also uh, in the logic surrounding uh, the memory. So we end up having uh, a very advanced, low cost uh, and high performance, reliable solution uh, for the market. Uh, our partnership with Leti is we're already five years uh, old. We've been working very closely with Letty. I think it's been a great partnership. Uh, we started, uh, our first delivery was in 2017 with the first memory bit uh, in 2018. Uh, we grew to kilobit and megabit arrays. Uh, in 2019, we actually worked with Letty to take their spirit uh, um, uh, neuromorphic uh, environment um, sparking neural network uh, application running on our uh, rear am and we demonstrated that at the flash memory summit in 2020 we uh, we went through stabilization of the technology and uh, we're actually now uh, finalizing the embedded module and taping that out so uh, uh, before the end of this year we'll be able to demonstrate a subsystem with our rear am and in parallel we're working and, and there's a big focus this year on integrating our rear am uh, with the selector and pushing forward uh, on the discrete component uh, side uh, the last thing i'll touch which is very important also and, and talking about the future of memory uh, ai is uh, becoming a, a very large uh, uh, application, actually many, many different types of applications using AI. I believe that uh, RERAM is, uh, is an ideal solution for neuromorphic uh, technology. A RERAM cell uh, functions in a very similar way uh, to a synapse in your brain so that you can emulate uh, the brain using RERAM. Uh, Letty's been doing a lot of research in this domain and we're glad to uh, support them. And actually, Webit has been announced uh, several partnerships with uh, uh, academic partners that are focused on different aspects of neuromorphic technology. I think that's a, a big domain and uh, Webit expects to be uh, involved in that domain as uh, it tra transforms or is transferred to the industry. So to summarize, uh, I think that uh, semiconductors are now taking center stage in everything we do. And we can see the impact when, uh, when there's shortage or actually the shortage in, uh, in semiconductor supply is also partly because of the huge demand. It's also some other reasons that, but as soon as you have that, the whole world is impacted. Um, it's been driving a lot of innovation and a lot of that innovation is in the memory domain. Memory has become the largest segment in semiconductors. It's growing rapidly. And uh, I think that uh, the new emerging memory technologies uh, and especially RERAM are going to take center stage as we move forward. Uh, I'm very proud to have Webit uh, as a leading uh, player in this domain. I think our technology is uh, uh, a very advanced one and very competitive one, especially the fact that we're focused on fab-friendly materials and uh, very innovative uh, uh, logic design that's driving uh, the memory module. So um, thank you all uh, for listening and uh, I'll, always, I'll be very glad to answer any questions by email or uh, any other way. Thank you.